and it's a stinky, messy business. It can be, but um, you should see the garden grow. You know, <laughs> it's, it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of authorities, a lot of people in power smell way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> what, what what podcast do you usually follow? Which ones do you like? Uh, well, I go from I go more on the topic than the people. Yeah, just if it's a good topic. Yeah, and uh, Charles Eisenstein. I, I I listen to a lot of him his podcasts. Have you come across Lex Friedman, the guy mm. with the suits, the black always with a black suits? He's he's Russian, but he he studied oh. in in America. Oh, no, very interesting. I can send you some. Oh, I'd like to see some links. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, again, we were talking about the power of the platform, right? Mm. Of of being able to 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 have conversations with people that you probably wouldn't find on TV, maybe, or mm. it would be at three a.m. And also, it's in a way that's not mm. like uh, an interviewer trying to get some dirty secret. You know what I mean? That's 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 it's. This is a relaxed conversation. It's not that. Um, you know, trying to put you on the spot so we can get some uh, good uh, ear time. <laughs> Are you going to vote in this election? That's a good question. I want to vote for systematic change. I don't want to vote for people. And I'm not sure about what to do about that. You know, I don't want not want to vote, but I don't want to vote in the system because the system has had it. It's broken. It's absolutely broken. And we've seen it. You know, if you can't get it, if you haven't got the proof of how broken it is, then you're blind. You know, you have to wake up because it's very, very broken. All the systems are. The, all of them. Yeah. And it starts with the financial system. It all starts with the financial system. As soon as they, they create a debt, every dollar comes with debt. As soon as they create a debt, as soon as they created interest, then we, it's never going to be... Talk about equality of outcomes. How can there ever be an equality of outcome as long as you've got debt? As long as you've got the <laughs> everybody in debt. Everybody's in debt. Who do we owe this to? That's right. So then the financial system has to change, and then the political system. Those two systems, change those two systems. So that's what I would vote for. But we I don't vote get for to that. vote for those things. No, we don't. Oh, oh don't we? Don't we've we? got a bit of paper. Write it on there. Well, you ah oh, right, right. I vote for systematic change. I I don't know. Is that what to do? Is that how to? Because I'm, I, you know, I want to be. I've, I, I I not so much now. I'm older, but when I was younger, I would like to be an activist. You know, I like to I like to make change. For, put a little push of pressure to make some change because the, we need change. There can only be change, and if we don't if we don't be proactive about change, then change happens to us, doesn't it? Yeah, someone decides for us, eh? Mm -hmm. So we have to be proactive in change. And, yeah, I, don't, I mean, there is um, a, 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 a groundswell, like with Voices of Freedom and mm. various other um, movements in New Zealand, but also around the world, um, saying clearly, yeah, the system's broken and how are we going to do it? And really, I guess... My little, our, little permac our little permaculture is my way, and it always has been, of showing another system. Alternative. Sh showing, I don't want to just feed my family. I want to be able to feed the greater community a little bit, you know. And then if, 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 we, had, if we had 20 permacultures, we could feed everybody. We wouldn't even need any trucks. I mean, those vegetables, everything in the supermarket, they they grown miles away. And yeah, we grow... We've got the best growing conditions on the planet. Just, just by, yeah, just next door, eh? Just there. Yeah, and the price. How do we? How do well? And that's the thing, right? If if it 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 gets cheaper because it's massive produce. If it's something that mm. requires more mm. attention, of course, it's going to cost more because that's something that people say a lot, right? Oh, it's so hard to buy organic. Because mm, it's expensive, but it's not it's hard expensive. to grow it. It's not hard to grow. See, also what we're doing is we're taking out, we're taking away because we're not making compost. Everything gets put in a plastic bag and gets put in a landfill. Mm. Everything. Everybody's poo two people too lazy. They just throw it all in a plastic bag. Organic material. That's compost. That's biodiversity right there in your hand. You throw it in, Even if it's been sprayed, it should still go back in the land. Back in the land, you see. They're taking out the, the system is broken because it's taking part of the system away. All of that produce. You, think, you imagine all the food that we grow, half of it ends up in a plastic bag in a landfill. <laughs> yeah, Th this is something that I that I've 
I've been doing for a few years since I I came to New Zealand and and had the opportunity to live in the Coromandel, which is like not hard to have a little, a little bit bucket. of bucket, a bucket. Even if you just throw it at the side of the road, you're doing more for the planet than you are putting it in a damn plastic bag. <laughs> and that's another twisted thing, right? Like oh, putting the rubbish. Yeah, and the council right give the you rubbish. a plastic bag. And well, the council they, they sell you. What's that? They, they sell, sell you. Yep. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, they sell you a plastic bag. When we were younger, they used to sell you a bag, but it was layers of paper, and the outside was waxed, so it did, could handle a few showers of rain. Put it in the bag. Um, wet stuff it needs to be wrapped, maybe, but don't put wet stuff in there. And then, yeah, well, it's right. Any food stuff shouldn't go in the rubbish. It just shouldn't go in the rubbish. It should be in the environment where it came from. You're taking it out of the cycle. You see, that's the problem. That's a big problem. Roger, would would that be the same with um, with meat, with bones and stuff? Yeah, all of it. Bones have got a lot of minerals. So what I do with bones is I put them in the fire. And it burns them, and then they break down. And the mint, the mint, we don't lose the minerals through the fire, and the minerals go straight back. And then it breaks down easily, and the minerals go straight back into the soil. So we put, we put, I put burnt bones in, the, and it's really simple. When I've got any bones, I throw them in the fire, and then the fi the fire gets cleaned out. Then I've got wood ash, and the minerals from the bones gets put in the compost. It's amazing what you can compost, and it's amazing where you can find materials to compost. My friend, the Herberts, they have a business um, over in Flaxmill Bay and they harvest kinna. They have a con uh, quota to harvest kinna. So I get the kinna after, it's, after they've taken the row and this was a waste product. It's full of seaweed, little bits of seaweed. They eat seaweed and the guts and calcium, heaps of calcium. People buy lime, which is calcium, to put on the... F I get, it's going to be thrown away. I get tons of the stuff, hundreds of bags of it. Put it around. That's one of the reasons why that fruit tastes so good. And make compost from that. There's there's all sorts of industries around, or little industries like that, where you can find material that say, "Hey, bring it to me, and I'll turn it into compost." I've been making compost out of herbs kinners for a lo quite a long time, and it's a stinky, messy business, <laughs> can be, but um, you should see the garden grow. You know, <laughs> it's it's yeah. worth it. A lot of authorities, a lot of people in power smell way worse. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> you just watched to an old base show clip. If you want to watch the full show or if you want to see us live, subscribe to our YouTube channel and get notifications about our live streams. We do it three times per week, every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 7 p.m. And if you are more of a listener, go to altbase.nz to find out on which main podcast platforms we're on. Peace.